You don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that. Get out the road, I told you. A car's coming, I stop you. You know why. channel my name is furniture perita aka me sweet so guys i just came from work and i decided to start on another project and that is my entryway makeover so first of all i've been sitting and thinking if i have to wait for me to get money or a lot of money for me to do something in the house i will never finish and i had a plan that when i move into this house i only need to take three months to do what i can do and then the, the rest i'm gonna do it like later 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 on but the reason why I, I was saying i need to take three months to do what i have to do is because i want to have a house warming in this new house you know so with the house warming you can't just call people in your house even it's looking shagala bagala that's why i started on a few projects regarding this house so this one specifically is for my entryway so i'm gonna uh, share with you a table that i want that i have actually repainted and then just take you through what i'm expecting for the space guys i have just finished painting my table i have painted brilliant white that is how it's looking amazing if you compare this with how it was looking previously you could actually cry so this is my table right let me take you to this place this is like my entryway space over here so forgive my painting whatever josh i'm gonna but it's fine so this is my entryway space right so i want to have a round big mirror over here that is going to be the mirror and then the black uh, the the frame should be black that is what i'm looking to have this area and then my entry table is gonna be here right it's not as that big but i think it's going to just work perfectly on top of my entry table i'm going to have a bowel cut that out on top of my entry table i'm going to have to have a ball that ball is for me to put in my keys when i just come in directly after work i put in my keys in that ball to make sure that i don't lose them amas buinanza kukimbia kuna ukuni kitafuta you know apart from that i'm going to have a beautiful vase a beautiful vase over here i don't know if in that vase i need to have anything inside but i'm still contemplating but yeah i will have a vase uh, just empty and then maybe what else do i need a candle i will actually look out for inspos to just see how entryways look like and i was thinking of adding in an artificial plant though i don't know if i should add in an artificial plant on this side of the nini entry table or on this side so because on this side i'm gonna have a mirror here too so just stay tuned guys as i continue doing this project i will update you as we go so guys basically this is everything that is supposed to go on top of this entry table but first i'm either figuring out if i should retain this or this so we will figure it out together and how it will be looking first things first this is like uh, this one i got from my monstera plant that is in the bedroom they are not at nini these are artificial leaves so you don't have to worry just chopped two of them from the plant and looking at this one i hope you can see yeah I feel like it looks good or awesome in here than in this wider one. Because for this one, it just looks like I don't know what happened. But I I used I, I love the, the texture of this one. So it's just like a normal monstera on a big vase that is not looking awesome. So I think I'm going to put it in there for starters. And then this one, I'm going to put it down here. And then we'll figure out if it still needs to be here or it can't be here. And then this bowl, this one, where did I get from? I think I was given this as a gift. I can't remember by who. So basically what I did is I painted the outside because it had three different colors that I didn't like. So I painted it gray or lighter shade of gray and then did some black spatters of paint on it. And I think it looks amazing, right? And then 
this one is going to be like my key holder or whatever I can put in anything loose that I come in the house with. And because I only have two keys, my car key and my house key that is just single one, I actually need to buy a bundle for this house because imagine guys working with this car thing. Imagine if you put it in here. But yeah, so these only two keys are going to go in here. So these two things are sorted. And then I have this. I don't know if I should have both three two plants over here or i should let one go still contemplating but let's organize and see how it will be looking before we let one go so i have this deco book it's called it's just written deco i've been having it for the longest time possible i have actually two one in my bedroom and this one over here and this one actually has my camaleonda couch still close to my heart so yeah here's the camaleonda itself so i'm thinking if this one is here Maybe I might be inspired and one day I might be able to bring that Kamalionda home. So, because this is the book, let's see how to organize. I don't know if the verse should be on top of the deco book. It actually looks amazing. Looks amazing like that already. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. So, this one, because when I come in, I have to drop in my keys and everything. I can't actually like place it in front of this, so it should be in the center. But contemplating on top of the deco book, maybe I add a candle. Too much. I have a candle in there, and then my keyhole and everything comes here in the center or close to the whatever of the nini. This one, I don't feel like I need it here, but I can just mm -mm, looks bad. This tray should I, because this is black, but having the tray on top of a deco book beats the logic of actually just, uh -uh, no. So I'm going to have the verse go in like that. This candle, should I have this candle or the pink candle? I don't know, this looks too much. Look at this, guys. How do you see this one? This is actually like a pink ish, and this color could actually rhyme the color on the inside of my key holder. Better or just not? Okay, I, this time, guys, I'm trying really, really hard to be a minimalistic Miss Sweet. This version of Miss New. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh my goodness. So, looking at how this area looks like, I'm thinking just the deco book this beautiful black verse and then my key holders okay are you understanding that so see i'm having this so that when i bring in the mirror i don't have too much going on here that's why i think that's just fine no more deco i'm thinking so you tell me in the comment section what you think guys what do you think we add deco we subtract deco because apart from having this here, I have a big mirror over here, right? And then apart from having the big mirror there, I'm going to bring one of my poof that is just like a strayer. It doesn't have anything that is doing whatever it is. So I was thinking maybe I should bring that poof over here to go under there into a table. But I'm still thinking it looks like it would be too much to bring the deco book. The, the, oh, what is the name? The poof over here. Back to this verse that I put down. Too much. Too much. Let me show you up close so that we vote. This is my area, guys. I'm so excited. Let me stand here so that you get a good view of it. So, if I remove this, let me hold it here. And then spread apart this one. Let me know, guys, in the comment section. Like this or I move that in and bring this one over here. Just comment down in the comment section and let me know. Because I actually love the, the, nini, the texture on this one and then the roundness. But I feel like if I have it there, it looks like an overkill. I don't know about you guys. Because I told you I'm trying to be as minimalistic as possible. So help me guys. Help me through it all. 
So this is the place I was telling you. I'm going to bring in a nini, a chandelier light fixture that is going to drop down and then you can see it through the mirror on the other side. So the mirror is going to be here. I'm still thinking maybe 60 by 60, 60, 60, 60 diameter. No, 60 diameter or 90, 90 is big. But I will just see guys, I will just see. So in the meantime guys, I'm going to remove this one here so that I have only that. You see? I just want to have that for the moment. But when I bring in the mirror, it's when I will decide if I need this other verse. This one. When I bring in the mirror, I will decide. But for now, let's maintain it at that. And then this area is what I'm asking you guys. What should I do? Should I bring in a basket that carries the shoes from outside? Or I should just be carrying shoes to the other room? I don't know. I feel like I need, because Udu to Santos for going outside, you know? So going to the other room to bring them is somehow hectic, but we will see. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this area. But I think for me, I love, love, love it for the moment. I'm just waiting to get monies and bring in a mirror. Oh my goodness. Immediately I bring in the mirror, you will be able to see. And then somebody will be asking me, why didn't I just go ahead and buy a die and in an entry table? I will tell you guys, the entry tables that I see out here, like almost everyone has. And for me, I, I like to have things that have like my own touch, like things I feel are different, you know. So for me, this one, this is different. Like, I know people are still not using this wooden wherever, but for me, I still, I feel like I still love it. Because this one, I have been having it from my bed sitter days. Imagine that, guys. From my bed sitter days. So I still love it. I still treasure it. So I'm just going to make it work for now. So when we bring in the mirror and the light fixture, I'm going to show you how it will be looking. But I love it. Hi guys, I have a quick DIY project that I want to share with you. Thing of black and white. And major parts of this thing should be white because my wall is black. I need something to contrast. So it will just have a little bit of space in between. This is the first piece that is already primed. I'm waiting for it to dry so that I can add in another coat of paint. What to have and this one. This one is not yet there. It's not perfect. But yeah, this one came out so well. Just like going in and painting again. You already know that I finished up like uh, doing my nini, my bedroom and I'm still looking up for vases and different kind of yani, different kind of everything so that I can just like spice up the look of my home uh, on a budget. So these bottles, this one a colleague of mine gifted me. Actually, I asked her to give me. <laughs> so yeah, she gave me this, this one and a bigger one. And so I want like I've mixed this paint over here. I will paint matte black, but also I'm just trying to see other and any other colors. So I want to try this one on this tiny vest and then yeah, check out. Okay. So from how it will be looking is when I will know if I'm going to paint the same, this mixture to all the remaining bottles. And also I will be painting this vase. So stay tuned to just see how it comes out. Guys. After contemplating for almost one hour, I decided to paint this mirror black. I actually wanted to paint it white, but I'm glad I did paint it black. So I've painted it black, the framework. And the reason why I painted this mirror black is just like to help me put my bedroom in place as I'm waiting to get money to buy the sizable mirror that I am looking forward to have in the bedroom. But for the meantime, I'm just like going to have this one in black so as to match everything, my theme, because it was woodish, but now it's black. And then here, I just cut off the cable, but I'm going to connect it again and then the bulbs can actually like, eh, uh, washer, the way on, time your makeup. So guys, after a long day, I decided I'm having potatoes and this is goat meat and I saw I'm doing choma in here and the day was rough. So what more do you ask for other than food, real food, yeah? So that's that. And then I have some Indi choma for breakfast tomorrow going on there. Guys, this is the look above my headboard. I know I'm supposed to get uh, to get mirrors for the nightstands, but for now we are not going to work with mirrors. This is what we are going to have. So those two abstract paintings that I painted myself and my headboard over there, my pillows. And that is basically how that is looking. I just wanted to come on here and give you a real quick update so that you know what is happening. And that is how it's looking. Also, to just update you, 
you see this mirror it was previously brown and now look at it it's actually matching the wall i'm actually like having this mirror go in the way it is so that i just like have time or um how do i say this so that even if i don't have money my room is not just looking ugly because i can't afford to buy a mirror now you know so i'm going to have this mirror the way it is looking amazing not as bad as i thought it would look so having it there as i changa or as i save towards buying a mirror a rounded mirror but for now this is what we are having and i love it